welcome to the roulette the show that asks the question are monday and tuesday really happy days uh, uh i'm your host michael riley with me is dane for joan i guess it depends on if you like those days and jason amherst hi all i have a i have a bone to pick with mike riley uh I'm going to call the police because Mike Riley was driving while filming himself and he was driving without his hands. So I'm going to call the police and tell him what he did. I mean, are you done at, being at, a, at are least? You, go ahead. <laughs> at least he wasn't doing it, uh, you know, in the rain in a supercar, you know, like a dunkle tunt. Yeah. Trying that's to true. read chat and then freaking crashing it. It's 75 miles per hour. What the, what the, and that then his injured friend to film him. I know who you're talking about, but I don't know his name. Yeah, no. The person's name yeah. isn't worth mentioning. Yeah. So what were you saying? You were going to call me a... What were you going to call me, Mike? A dunkle top? No. I was going to say, no. are you done being a stupid fuck? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm... I'm I'm gonna say diarrhea card right now. Yep, uh, diarrhea yeah. initiated, Dane. Do our diarrhea. Yeah, we have four of them. We can afford to use a couple. Hey, look, it's Brett Favre. <laughs> it's it's Brett Favor. We started with four, just so everybody knows. So now we have three. Wait a minute. It's it all makes about, sense now. Might be might be about to be two. <laughs> Brett Favre went to the Jets just like Aaron Rodgers, and he totally fucking sucked on the Jets just like Aaron Rodgers. Ah, this is Kobe. Do we want to skip Kobe? I like, I, I like Kobe. So we're doing this one. Oh. Are, are we gonna do Kobe? It ain't NBA Jam though. Yeah, no, well, NBA Showtime was NBA Jam. Yeah, this, this won't be as fun. Um. All right, I guess. Uh, diarrhea card. All right, dump card. Here we go. We're gonna yeah, just... let's dump it. Dumping it. All right, down to two now. We're gonna we're gonna get a lot of nasty emails from sports fans. Like, why why do you guys skip all the sports games? Because we just don't find them that appealing. Oh my lord! All right. You please tell me is it another sports game? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Still got stop two. It. Somebody stop this. Still got two dump cards. Uh, fine, yes. All right, Jason. Which, which one is this one? All Star Baseball 2001. Yeah, dump it. Christ, we're going to go through all of our dump cards at this rate. It is very so possible, true. but we're at least getting all the sports out of the way. I swear to God, if we get an NHL game. Just complete the trifecta. Nope, well, actually, uh, not a sports game. Not a sports game. Well, uh, there is no NHL on the board. Oh, good. Yeah, well, there's another. Uh, there's another NFL. Track and field is there's track and field. Yeah. Well, yeah, but the NFL on the board is good. It's NFL Blitz. Uh, yeah. All right, Monopoly. I guess it is. Moin Zoe. Moin Zoe. Short game. Monopony. Okay. Uh, okay, I d didn't do... All right. Oh, Z to change, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Start game. Game is start. Oh, I probably have to add players, don't I? Huh? I could just add computers. I'm going to do four uh. computers. Bold. 
Yeah, they're not all, intelligent. They're all Just gonna be bold. bold. Yep. Four bold computer players. You know, it's funny. They just announced the, uh, as of the time of this recording, the analog 3D, which is uh, analog's new FPGA uh, N64 console. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be $250. How much was the N64 on launch? I don't remember now. It's been... I think it was around that price. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was just sounds like it seems like the price it was when it lost. It's gonna be two hundred fifty dollars. Hairs. Uh, the analog three D. This, this is uh, this is uh, basically an N sixty four that is uh, native HDMI. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, and with the uh, expansion pack built into it, I believe. Yeah. I didn't know. There was wacky animated figures here in yep. the Monopoly world. <laughs> Who are you then? Oh, which character are you, buddy? I'm the. Uh, not, they're all I'm, computer. As I say, I'm not. I'm the one that's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're literally hands free. Oh. You're a fucking pizza. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucking wow. pizza tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You know, I got much like, Listen, much like getting hit with a dictionary, words hurt. Oh boy, as we as we're recording this, it's the 16th. We're getting closer and closer to the Guardian game reading. 16th of October. Yeah, because this is airing. As you can see, uh, I because I put the air dates up in the top in the uh, topic there. Uh, this episode in particular airs on November 19th. So happy om happy almost Thanksgiving, Pilgrim. Yep. This episode airs five days before my birthday. I don't know why I, I don't know why I did this, but I did the Peter Griffin sway to that. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody's heard about the bird. <laughs> bird, 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 bird. The bird is a word. So, uh, speaking of Peter Griffin, I watched the uh, Family Guy Hulu Halloween special that they did. I'm so sorry. I know, I I know why it aired on Hulu. Cause it sucked. Cause Meg is naked in it. Well, no. Yeah, it it, it was what? very medi It was very mediocre. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> this is full frontal nudity. Lois is dressed. Goes to Halloween as a nudist. Uh, <laughs> but uh, S Stewie dresses up as uh, Cher. Oh. Uh. What? What wants uh, Brian to be Sonny Bono? Brian, of course, doesn't want to go with Stewie. Stewie wishes uh, that, uh, you know, Rupert can come to life, does the Dr. Frankenstein bit. Uh, Rupert comes to life. He's voiced by a British guy, a uh, famous British actor. Uh, and uh, Rupert tries to kill Brian, uh, a la Chucky. Mm. Um. Yeah, that's that's kind of the, uh, the the gist of that uh, plot. The other plot is uh, Joe makes a giant pumpkin. Uh, they accidentally destroy it. Uh, Peter hides inside the giant pumpkin. Um, it wins a contest, um, and uh, then Peter hides inside the giant pumpkin uh, at the state contest. Only to find out that every giant pumpkin at the state contest has a fat person inside of it. And that is why they won. Because no pumpkin actually ever grows larger than 20 pounds. That sounds incredibly underwhelming. Yeah. 
Uh, by the by. Also, also, probably the reason why it aired on Hulu, Hobart the Pervert appeared. Okay. Okay. Um, by the by, Rupert was apparently voiced by Derek Jacoby. Ah, that was it. I, I don't know who that is. He's one of those uh, British actors who... <laughs> He's one of those British is, actors. Who is more known for being on stage and doing Shakespeare. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, also, Rupert isn't Rupert's name. <laughs> Let me guess. They did a vaguely homosexual joke with Rupert and Stewie. Uh, there, there was a whole, like, I can't believe you've been blah, blah, blah this whole time. Like, there, there was, like, a joke about that. Uh, when he was putting Rupert together in the Frankenstein bit, there was a homosexual joke because he had had, like, parts from other celebrities, like Abs and uh, Momoa Penis. Momoa Penis. Momoa Penis. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> can't read my, can't read my, no, you can't read my Momoa penis. Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> Remember when Family Guy promised they would stop doing gay jokes and, and and they went back on it like a few weeks later? Well, I'm surprised neither of you yeah, pointed again, out the probably fact that why it was on Hulu. I'm surprised neither of you pointed out the fact that uh, Stewie was Cher and wanted Brian to be Sonny. I mean, so how many jokes have they made about Brian and Stewie like that? Exactly. Yeah, oh, like that was that's the biggest gay joke Brian, right there. <laughs> Brian, Brian didn't want to be a part of that at all. You know, well, no, who, and of course, then Stewie's. Stewie's getting hit on by random men in a freaking car driving by. Oh, oh. One of them was P. Diddy with yeah, a bottle like, of oil. You know... <clears throat> Remember, Brian, uh, Stewie, just, is, Stewie is a baby, so... <laughs> hey, listen. Brian is a dog, but he's had several human girlfriends. Yes. That's, yeah. And no and nobody's yeah, pointed out the that. and nobody ever points out the absurdity in that, and that's strange to me. <laughs> you know like, yeah, there's several there's several human women in the family guy universe who have committed bestiality, but nobody seems to listen. Care. <laughs> there was an episode where all of Brian's exes got together to tell him why he's a terrible person. And nobody thought to make the joke All of you literally fucked me. I'm a dog. And I'm the screwed up one. That's fair. Yeah. Speaking of people taking back what they said, apparently Jerry Seinfeld was taken back. Uh, what he said about the far left destroying comedy. It turns <laughs> out I'm the one destroying comedy. AKA. Okay, okay, I watched okay. a. Uh... I'll never be on Kill Tony at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a uh, fascinating YouTube video about uh, how uh, Jay Leno killed... Put a condom uh, on an erect penis. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 Those exist on uh, YouTube, Jay Leno the killed uh, uh, Conan O'Brien's career. On uh, NBC. I thought you were just going to say that Jay Leto killed Conan O'Brien. I'm like, like, who the hell's been hosting that show? Who the hell hosted that show on TBS for 15 years? <laughs> that, was, that was Craig Kilborn in disguise. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, yeah. I'm Conan O'Brien. <laughs> hey, that's right. It's been it's been me under a mask the whole time. It's actually Craig like a- Kilborn. I actually kind of sound like Dennis Miller. Hot shit, shit, shit. Yeah, I'm like a low rent Dennis yeah. Miller. <laughs> yeah, apparently, uh, apparently, uh, Jay Leno was just a freaking scumbag who was plotting to get that slot from the get go. 
Like he he was aiming for that time slot. Even like that, he he wanted to usurp that slot even from Letterman. So when he got it instead of Letterman, like you know, it was just like when Howard Stern warned freaking uh, uh, Conan O'Brien about Leno being a scumbag. It's like that's that's not a joke, man. Like that's a promise. This man will freaking kill your career. It's like. Conan should have like taken hey. that like seriously. <laughs> hey, listen, it's me, Howard Stern. Um, I want to warn you about uh, Jay Leno, but first, here's Beetlejuice. <laughs> Craig Kilborn to me just seems like Dennis Miller with no edge. No edge. None of the edge that makes Dennis Miller funny. I mean Maybe me. I don't mean to go Dennis off on Miller. a rant here, babe, but... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't mean to go off on a rant here, babe, but I think Dennis Miller was painfully unfunny. Ha, cha, cha, cha. I mean, there was a, he is now, for sure. That was a rant. Back in the day, he was better. Back when he was actually, like, the first, like, two or three seasons of his, of his HBO show. He's good. <clears throat> like, the last thir- 20 to 30 episodes of uh, the Dennis Miller show, the one that aired in syndication... Those are also good. Because he didn't give a shit anymore. Because he knew his show was canceled. <laughs> That's some of the best stuff of, of Dennis Miller's career is those last, like, 20, 30 episodes of Dennis Miller's show. You know, Cause, cause when, he, when he shows genuinely, are canceled and yeah. they don't give a shit anymore, Literally, that's when they are freaking wild. Yeah, Dennis Miller stopped giving a shit, stopped showing up in shirt, uh, suits, wore whatever the fuck he wanted to set. Didn't give a shit if what he was saying was being censored or not. And that's when he was funniest. It's when there's no <clears throat> reins on the man, that's when he's the funniest. Well, that, that's kind of like when ECW was in Slash the Rose. Absolutely, yeah. Whatever although, network it was on. Although, I would say that's more true of ECW's promos in the last, maybe, year, rather than match quality. Match quality took a dive, but the promos were good. It looks like a looks like a big garlic head. <laughs> <laughs> Wario would be very happy. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow! Silver garlic? No, he wouldn't be happy because it's silver. He wouldn't be able to eat it. <laughs> you kidding me? You try eating it anyway. I want to pass that out my sphincter. Wow! Um, <laughs> thoughts on Monopoly, Dane? It's Monopoly. What? We played enough versions where it's like, well, when you've seen one, you've seen them all. I mean, I like playing Monopoly with my friends, but um, yeah, you can. I can take it or leave it in video game form. Jason didn't look like they did anything too special with this. You know, 3D graphics are nice, but uh, I mean, I've I've played uh, I've played cooler versions on actual board games. Yeah, that's the thing about this is that just this just makes me want to play the actual board game, of which there are millions of versions. But I mean, like even I've, I've got still, board game versions with Pac Man. Yeah, even still, in video games, when it comes to Monopoly video games, there are even better ones of that than this. I would argue Nintendo uh, Mon- Monopoly on Nintendo Switch is way better than this. Uh, scores out of ten, Dane. Four. Jason. Five. Yeah, I'm going to give it a five. Monopoly. Monopoly. Monopoly, Monopoly, you, Monopoly, everybody's poo. Excuse me? Oh, it just, Monopoly. just ticked over to this. It's... Yeah, yeah, this one's actually, yeah, we won't be skipping this one because this is actually good. <laughs> NFL Blitz is the NBA jam of football. Plus, it's Midway. Midway always makes good games. 
or did back in these days. Yeah. Dear points of view, I am the little girl who was at the Olympics. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see. Any, uh, any good cheats for this? Uh, no. uh, I don't see any. I'm looking it up right now. Uh, I'm probably going to let the game play itself, honestly. So. Hidden players. We got Alien. Boxer. Dino. Bill Clinton. Guido. Yep, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be letting... Pirate. Shinnok. Apparently I cannot let the game play itself. Oh, damn it. Hey, how about, uh, how about Shinnok? All right. How does one get Shinnok? Okay, so, uh, when you get to the, uh, name input, S-H-I-N-O-K, and then, uh, 8337. Okay, so where is name input? No. Oh no, you're the Washington Wolves. Oh, uh, turbo jump and pass change the first, second, and third icons based on the number of times okay, you press those buttons. Yeah. So it's, you said S S H I N O K. That ah, fuck. I just wanted the right shit. Anyway, S H I N O N O K. Uh, and then, uh, um, uh, did I not do something right here? Hold on a second. <laughs> Enter name for record keeping. There you go. God damn it. And then what? What was the uh, next part? And then, uh, record not found. What the fuck? No, so it's not that either then apparently. What the fuck? Yeah, you're supposed to enter a pin number. Yeah, it didn't let me. Crazy. That's what. Ah, shit. God damn it. But you don't have a control pad. Oh, well, I guess it says you do. Maybe, okay. uh, maybe without a uh, controller pack, it'll ask for a password. What's the password? Oh, okay. And if that's the case, then you can enter a uh, passcode, and the passcode is eight three three seven. Uh, okay. No, it's still not. No, no, it's it's not gonna let me do it. Okay. So I don't know where that's weird. I don't know where you're getting that, your information from, but it's clearly not right. N sixty four. Okay. Uh... Well, I mean that's the codes for the N sixty four. Well, it doesn't tell me where to enter them, so I don't know what to tell you. Guess you're not gonna see Shinnok. Sorry, everybody. Just, I don't know. Uh, Jay, the information well, Jace has is incomplete. All <laughs> tells, four people who wanted to see Shinnok. Tells me to no, get, 
tells me to enter a damn code and enter a passcode, but it doesn't give tell me where to enter the shit at. Tells you when to enter the PIN number, yeah. I don't know why it's not asking for a PIN number. Uh, who should I be? Because uh, another one of the codes is for uh, Raiden. You should be uh, Indianapolis. Say Indianapolis. Is. The stats are pretty good. You're playing the field calls. Here we go. This field looks weird. Blacktop field. Ah. Wait Ouch. a second. You, look at look at look at the head. You see that? What? I think you are should work. Am I? Oh, I guess it did work. Yeah. Uh, take a look at the take a look at whoever's holding the ball. See that? They're not wearing a helmet. I can't see. It's a weird. Dude, I can't see any fucking thing that's... Oh, oh God, me. it's heaven. This is, this is my nightmare. I was going to say, I can't, I can't tell what any fucking thing is in this game, so... Oh, God. Yep. It's because I suck at football games or sports games in general. It's going to be one of them days, brother. Yep. That's why I was wanting the game to play itself. Yeah, your head automatically changes. I guess it did work in a weird way. It did work. Okay. Uh, I think you owe Mr. I think you owe Mr. Ambrose an apology. Why? Because because you, you are Why do I so... why do I owe why do I owe Jason an apology? Because you were so adamant that it didn't work. Okay, and why does that warrant needing an apology? I love how you're taking this so I think, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm lost as to why why anything I said would have offended I think Jason. You're just at, I think you're just at a loss at what is obviously me joking around. Right? Yeah, but the joke doesn't work because I didn't do anything to Jason. I said the information he had was shitty. <laughs> You're just being a dunkle tunt for no reason. <laughs> okay. okay. Zipping my lips. If you're gonna make, if you're gonna make a joke, no, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you're gonna make a joke, at least try to you know make it make sense. You know what? I hope Atlanta beats you forty-eight to nothing. Yeah. They probably, they probably will, because I am shit at sports games. I told you this. And especially shit at this one, apparently. Maybe I mean, playing uh, this was a mistake. <laughs> there, there, there are other codes you could have used, like, on the matchup screen, in theory. Well, I wish I'd have known that before now. Yeah, oh, but you would have had to have pressed the right combination of buttons, you know, on the versus screen, similar to, like, you know, the Mortal Kombat like, you know, versus screen things. For example, like Big Head or Big Head Team or Big Players Team or Baseball Stadium. Or, or Bill Clinton. Because he was everywhere, remember? All right. Uh, dirt Field. Uh, Headless Team, which wouldn't have been any fun because... You know, then you wouldn't have actually seen the Shinnok head. Uh, huge head, which is even bigger than big head. Uh, late hits, which just allows you to hit people whenever you want. Even bigger than Ed Big Head? Yeah, I'm assuming so, if it's huge head. Uh, God, I am shitty uh, at this. No interceptions. No like punting. A... No random fumbles. <sighs> power up blockers. Power up defense. Power up offense. Power up speed. Power up teammates. Uh... Super blitzing. Super field goals. 
tiny players team. Unlimited throws. Unlimited turbo meter. All right. Huh. I like the allows stepping out of bounds. That one would have been interesting. Indubitably. Just imagine being able to run anywhere until you get tackled. Well, they're halfway to the score you want them to beat me at, Dane. <laughs> Good. No. Bikini lady is disappointed in you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Well, bikini lady could kiss my a. For a price, she might. <laughs> I don't get out of bed for less than three feet. FTC has announced the click to cancel rule that will require companies to let you cancel any product as easily as you registered. Long, difficult cancellation processes will become illegal. If you signed up with a click, they'll have to let you cancel with a click. Hopefully, they will follow through on that. Also, mm -hmm. apparently a uh, group of Japanese voice actors have formed a uh, 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 formed a group against the unauthorized use of generative AI. Okay. Interesting. Which is absolutely beautiful because fuck AI. A lot of the... Um... Animation studios need to band together to stop this AI garbage as well. Yeah. Huh. Did not know that. Did not know what? That. You know that the kid with the kid with the mask in uh, the yellow T-shirt who uh, dances in the smooth criminal music video for Alien Ant Farm went on to voice Bond in Final Fantasy XII. Bond, real proud of him. Great man. Fuck. Wait a second. Rico was at Wrestle Dream? Yes. Yeah, he was. Interesting. He's uh he's managing MXM collection. Yeah, Masse and Mansoor. Okay. Oh, Mason Madden. Mason whoever, Madden and Mansoor. Whoever the fuck they are. Hey, you put some respect on them. They are otaku. Damn it. Excuse me. I, I just happen to be a big fan of Mason Madden because he is a massive nerd from Massachusetts and former Patriots player. Shit. He's... He is the great black otaku. I'm so bad at this game. I'm making the Colts be shitty. You're making the Colts be 
tree I'm, fitting. I'm turning the 2000 Indianapolis Colts into the 2024 Indianapolis Colts. They're not that bad. <laughs> well. Well. You are getting your ass kicked. Fuck. Good lord, please. Let this... Let this madness end. First and furry. Bird dirty dirty. Try to field goal it. Yeah. There we go. 47 to nothing so far. Oh my god. It is true. I suck. I am the worst video game player of all time. No. No. Who's worse than you? Uh, Billy Mitchell. Yeah, I would say Billy Mitchell is worse. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it could be worse. You could be Billy Mitchell. That's what... That's what we're getting at. It could be Millie Mitchell. Yeah, Millie Mitchell's even worse. Billy Bitch Cakes. Hey, there. Millie Bitch Cakes. <laughs> Uh, so, the PC version of Silent Hill has been getting some ridiculous uh, mods. Okay. Okay, now that it's 50, uh, 58 to 0, I think we can stop this madness. Uh, thoughts on NBA, NFL Blitz 2001, Dane? NBA Blitz. Yeah. Thoughts NBA on NBA Blitz and NFL Jam. Thoughts on N MLB Blitz 2001. <laughs> well... I have always been a fan of the NFL Blitz games, such as Smash Mouth, No Nonsense thing. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, it's the way football should be. I love it. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on LGPA Blitz, uh, Jason? <laughs> uh, fuck Madden. This is what a football game should be like. I don't want to fuck John Madden. First of all, he's dead. Second of all, even if he wasn't dead, he'd still be a fat tub of lard. <laughs> and thirdly, I wouldn't want to take Pat Summerall's job. Uh, this <laughs> supposedly is a fun game. Obviously, I suck at it, but uh, it is still it's NFL Blitz. You, you got to cheat more. Yeah, you can't have a bet too bad at a time with it, uh, uh, even though I, I clearly did. Uh, scores out of 10, Dane. Dane. Jason. Nine. I'll give it a nine. One more game this episode. Hopefully it'll be something I can actually fucking play. <laughs> fucking, fucking, fucking. Dane, 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 down, out. What's this? I don't even know what this is. It's rat attack. It's ratatouille. I'm unfamiliar with this. I also am unfamiliar. 
I guess we'll see. It'll it'll explain it. I'm, just, I'm uh, I guess that's it. It says help text. Hi, Jinx. Sparky, Manx, Muffy, Dupont, Bobcat, Smokey. Hi, it's me, Bobcat. What am I doing here? I guess I'll just do this. Theme select. Oh, house is the only one I can pick. All right. Ready to save the world again, Scratch Cat? Good, because evil mutant space rats Washington and Jefferson have returned from exile to make matters worse. Special Agent Pearl has gone missing. Take your eradicator, oh, no. start smashing the road in menace, and find Pearl. Remember, when you trap the rats with your eradicator, walk over the destructor to finally destroy them. Mike is very invested in this, you can tell, but you wanting. Yeah. A uh, PlayStation release in 1999, uh, a Nintendo 64 release in 2000. What the? Uh, what? What are you supposed to do? The story. And so the story goes: a pair of lab rats, Washington and Jefferson, were sent into space aboard a rocket in an experiment. However, after some incident in space. The rats had been mutated and gained super intelligence. Over 40 years on, they have returned to Earth and immediately commenced with plans for world domination, massing a huge army of rats with instructions to destroy everything in sight. The felines of the world band together to combat this menace, forming a group called the Scratch Cats, headed by cat genius Professor Rex Julius. They fight off these rats with several of his inventions which eliminate the rats in a humane way. Professor Rex Julius spent his, sent his special agent Pearl to investigate, but Washington and Jefferson managed to capture her, imprisoning her within a laser cage guarded by giant robots. They go from location to location cleaning up the rats. Along the way, they meet another mysterious cat in the clutches of King Scarab known as Anubis in the original PlayStation version and Atomic Hat in the N64 version. At the end of the game, with all the areas saved from the ravaging rat army, the Scratch Cats managed to defeat Washington and Jefferson in a showdown in their space base. However, after the duo managed to escape their defeat, Julius afterwards revealing that they also taken King Scarab with them. Cool. Sounds like a sounds like a classic. There were six animated flash videos that were produced to go with it. Apparently. Oh. Uh, this game got uh, well, according to Game Rankings Aggregator. 48% on PlayStation and a 61% on N64. Hmm. Uh, N64 got mixed reviews. PlayStation version got unfavorable reviews. Okay. Shit. Nintendo Power gave the European import a mixed review while the U.S. version was still in development. Hmm. <laughs> Are you supposed to... Kind of a shitty... Uh, kind of a shitty camera. Is around these... Uh, Shit. Mises? Yeah, I think so. Kind of Ghostbusters catch him. My thing is only so big. What's with the ghost thing? Eh. And they unzip it in. Boogly boogly. Bitch. 
seems kind of crazy. Very cartoony soundtrack. Damn it. Man, these mice are fucked you up, buddy. Oh, I see. You have to. You put them in the box, and then you hit the. You have to go over to the button to escort them out. Yeah. Okay, I guess you did a thing. Yeah, I beat the level there. You only have to get so many before the final door opens. Or the level exit opens. Damn it. Oh no, there's a piece in the bathtub. Hurrah. Oh! You gotta catch 11 of these fucking things. Yep. Which one's Washington and which one's Jefferson? Uh, none of these, I don't think. Oh no, they're gonna do- they're gonna launch the rocket! Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're putting the- Put the fuel in the rocket chair! Hurrah! Honestly, this game isn't terrible. No. Kind of interesting. Hey. Made it through that one. Nice. Yeah, this could always be worse. Okay, could be raining. 14. Yeah. Shit. Piss. Damn it. I think the hardest thing is like once they're up against something. Well, really, you just, if you make an L shape around them, generally you're able to catch them. You just move in an L shape. But. The problem is, is something not being in the way when you make the L shape. Fuck me. 
Why do I keep? Why do we keep hearing goat bleats? I don't know. Stop eating the fridge, you stupid meese. <laughs> I'm damning meeses. We need, we need Dan from Dan versus to be like, video game. Down and get to the heavens. There we go. Managed to get three at once on that last one. Oh, just Yippee, get ready. Yappy. This music is banging. It's a bop, as the kids would say. Boss fight? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get out of get out of here, dog. Hmm. Oh, could have got him. Oh, you're not supposed to draw a box around. No, you're you're not supposed to draw a box around him. You're supposed to wait for him to headbutt into one of the targets. That poor doggy. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> no, no, sir, I didn't like. Uh, do, 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 do. the duplicator. Oh, God. I am the Eradicator! Uh, now they're adding a bunch more uh, puzzle uh, elements. Yeah, a few more mechanics. Uh oh. There's a sleeping dog over there. Better be I, careful. I am aware. I just got rid of a shitload there at once. Ah, piss. No, damn it. No, and I teleported away from him. Fuck. Oh, where's the door? The door, the door, the door. I need it in the door. There we go. Jesus. That was tough. Whew. I, think we get the, I think we get the point. Thoughts on Rat Attack, Dane? Uh, it really wasn't that bad. Um, never heard of this game before today. Interesting mechanics. I don't see anything wrong with it. It was a cute little... Game. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> lovely. It was lovely, dear. Jason. You know, I've never heard of this game, and I thought I'd played, like, every N64 game. It's not a bad puzzle game. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting mechanic. It's not, like, the best thing ever. It's not, like, the greatest game in the world, but it is still 
it's not bad, and it gets challenging. Uh, scores out of ten, Dane. Seven. Uh, Jason. Seven. I will also go seven. On today's episode, we played Monopoly, NFL Blitz 01, and Rat Attack. Best game of the episode, Dane. Blitz. Jason. Blitz. Diago Blitz. Uh, thanks for joining us on this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgione and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. Good night, everybody.